Oh, I ended up getting a bunch of more insignias. So now I'm at 48,148 heroism. I only need, like, another 75,000 to get one unlockable. Oh, Jesus. There's actually one more unlockable that you get for getting maximum heroism, which is 500,000 points. I have never gotten it because I am not a crazy person. But I do want to show it off, so I'm going to have to hopefully find a save file that has it already. Good luck. Because <laughs> I am not fucking... If I can't get it, I'm just going to say what it is. It's not anything significant, but it's kind of neat. Also, I have one person in my waiting room that I did not file away, even though she's a B-rank cook. Because I, I like her saying, you don't see it come up very often. She says, I heard you're scared of vampires. Is that true? That's actually kind of cute, boss. <laughs> well, now I can make her cook. Uh, oh, I fought some dinosaurs and I was able to get uh, the rare drop from Rathalos. It's the Rathalos wing. Uh, if you actually take a look at the monster hunter drops in the R&D section, like in the, the other section where all your confidential documents are at. There's actually a model viewer for the, the Monster Hunter bosses in there. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, when you actually look at them, like, you have the Rathalos wing. It doesn't say what it makes. It just kind of appears in your R&D thing, and like, if you can't make it yet, it's just kind of hidden, and you have to go searching for it. Mm -hmm. But I will show what the Rathalos wing can make you. I'm trying to remember which. I always think it's under sniper rifles, but it's not. It's assault rifles. Um, it makes you the musket from MGS4, the matchlock musket that shot tornadoes. Mm -hmm. That's what the Rathalos wing gets you. Oh, neat. And uh, this, but in this game, it works a little differently from MGS4. It doesn't shoot tornadoes, but it does something else sometimes. Sometimes or all the time? <laughs> Uh, pretty frequently. Okay. But I need an R&D team of 89, and I also need a dude with the Japanese Patriot skill. I need a guy who's really into Japan to make this gun. <laughs> uh, you have cause, don't you? That... even more than that. <laughs> also, in a previous video update, I said that you can only carry one of well-done rations. That was a lie. You can carry four like normal. I thought I can only carry one because I only have one well-done ration. Oh, oh, because you have to make more to even have them. Yeah, because it's not like you make one and then Mother Base can, you know, cook those. <laughs> it's just too hard to cook. You have to cook it yourself every time you want more. Oh, that's obnoxious. However, there is an easier way to cook rations without fighting dinosaurs. Uh, you can cook on this mission, too. Oh, really? Yeah, the spit's right behind us, because we're on the Monster Hunter Island. Oh, right. And... A few updates ago, we got that guy with the optics technology skill. And I finally have a foul with a laser dot. Oh, nice. Um... You don't actually have a laser shoot out of it, your reticle just has a red dot in the center now, but it actually makes it really accurate. I'm surprised they don't really come from very many places. I should call people on the radio so they talk about Puyan. Suddenly, I had a craving for pork. Cecile says she has a craving for pork because the arcade game Puyan was about pigs. <laughs> dialect of Japanese, you stick it on the end of people's names, so you'd be Sneyan. A heart! Explosive barrel! If you call Miller, he tells you what Yan means. It's like, did you know it's an honorific you put it at the end of people's names? <laughs> for the recovery, Let's see if anybody else has anything to say. I see you completed your mission. Oh. This mission still thinks it pauses with us, so she was saying, Hey, you beat the mission! You should go to the recovery point, Snake! This mission still thinks that? 
We locked I it up before. I launched you into the ocean pause. No, this doesn't unlock until you actually beat the, oh. se get the second ending. But yeah, the radio always thinks pause is still with you. S rank. And now, Fulton Sleep Gas Mine design specs. Yes. This is what I've been waiting for. All the Fulton items, that's what I want. This is the first one of several, and the Fulton mine is pretty rad. So now let's go back to Mother Base! Also, it's uh, instantly rank 5, so oh, awesome. you only need to develop it once. Marine Iguana. Oh my god, I forgot about how intense the music is here now. Oh yeah, now that big boss went a little more crazy. <laughs> See, Fulton Mines. Oh, geez, I'm gonna have to cancel development on something to actually make this. Uh, yeah. So you just place Fulton Mines down as if they were um, claymores or something. And if anybody steps onto a Fulton Mine, it explodes and shoots gas. And if they're in the gas cloud, the gas somehow straps a balloon onto them <laughs> and they fly away. <laughs> Yeah. But the great thing about the Fulton Mine is the cloud that explodes is pretty big. So if you're doing vehicle fights, if you had this mine right where, like if you do one of the APCs where the guys come out in one spot, just put the mine like right behind where they load out, and then when they all step out, one guy will step on it, and all four guys will get Fulton with one mine. Awesome. God. Uh, also, you don't, you do not have to have somebody step on it. If they're near it, you can also shoot it to make it detonate. Oh, perfect. Uh, Man, yeah. why didn't they give this to us earlier? Uh, also, there's something else awesome about the Fulton Mines. The gas cloud goes up a little bit, so uh, there were some missions really early in the game that had really good soldiers we could not capture because they were too high up. And with the Fulton Mines, we can actually reach them and Fulton them with this. I think I made that name up because I haven't seen any of my soldiers. <laughs> I think I just made Max Stingray up. I want to uh, believe. I wanna me believe too. It was a thing. Max Go Stingray and Beef. <laughs> Go back to the prison camp. It's in the village where they were holding cheap. Boss's clear favorites. <laughs> so if you put him to sleep already and then do the mine, will it still pick him up? This guy's a bee in medicine. Uh, but yes, it will. Oh, so, so like we could, yeah. You can knock him out. I. I'm not sure if the clouds will reach this high up. They might. Okay, so... Right under here, I will place a Fulton Mine. Then I will shoot it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I love this! I love this because right now, this seems like... This seems like everybody is just innately has a balloon on them. <laughs> It's a part- it's the balloon particle. Uh, if simulated correctly, a balloon will grow out of any form of matter. <laughs> yeah, so that was a bee in medicine right there. But anyways... Here. Two snipers here. Oh. Two snipers here. Both of them are S rank. Let's plop down another mine. Right about here. Shoot it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so great. Mm hmm. Fulton recovery oh. subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Capture this guy as well. Uh, also, if I, like, say stand right next to the Fulton mine and shoot it. Mm hmm. Oh, not enough. It takes out a ton of your stamina, so, uh, if you're too close to it and you shoot it, you might fall asleep. <laughs> Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. <laughs> I shot him once and he just turns right around and tries to run away. So I think both design specs are down here. There's a ration. Here's one design spec. 
This is an M16 with a rocket la or a grenade launcher that shoots stun grenades. Nice. That's what I like to hear. Oh, there's a Snipers. sniper way out outside over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's awesome. Another one too. Yep. Can't fault in those guys. Ever or yet? Not yet. Ah, yes. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Hopefully not just for uh, S rank then, because uh, the the page here doesn't say S rank. I'm pretty sure <laughs> the page just the page you wrote down. No, I'm looking at the internet this time. Oh, okay, I like the I, I just like the idea. Of, like, well, I didn't write it down, so <laughs> so I must be right. <laughs> Clearly, this is a of fa piece of paper is end all be all. <laughs> I put all my trust into this paper. <laughs> A rank. Twin barrel? Yeah, so a twin barrel shotgun that shoots rubber slugs, so it is effectively a tranquilizer gun. Oh, nice. It's a really good gun. Defend Mother Base! Shoot those missiles down! Who to shoot the missiles? Who cares? <laughs> Doesn't matter, just <laughs> deal with what's important at hand. Missiles Missile coming snake. at you. Not yet, though. Any second, though, big boss. <laughs> I swear. Oh, missiles! Oh. There is one. Here they come. It takes a while for anything to show up. So if you get hit by ten missiles, it's game over. Okay. Shoot down all incoming missiles. Everyone is counting on you. I call the radio and pause says, Shoot down the missiles, everybody's counting on you. I definitely won't shoot missiles against you at any point. Don't worry about it. I would never do that. I'm just an innocent anime girl. I definitely do not have the codename Pacifica Ocean of all things. <laughs> Such a dumb name. Pacifica Ocean. Oh, these ones are slightly harder to shoot. Handled. Um, so do we need to get S rank? We do need an S rank to get the reward for this level. Uh, I think we probably fudged it up because we didn't notice that first missile. I had no idea where they were coming. It was, took so long for anything to come towards us. Yeah, it came from the left. Yeah. Oh well. It's just another version of the M16, but it has a laser sight on it. There are like a billion M16 variants. Man, whoever's shooting these missiles really wants to make it a pretty looking pattern while he shoots it. It's like the Blue Angels. You're done with that. I saw the Blue Angel before. Did you? Good job. It's really fucking hot. <laughs> it sucked. Oh, I definitely heard the story then. <laughs> I do remember <laughs> you being really angry. <laughs> about how, how incredibly hot it was. It was neat, but it was also really hot. <laughs> sucked. <laughs> you wanna do the first perfect stealth mission? Sure. Let's get this mission. I definitely already did it, though. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I was like, I want to play this. This seems cool. I, <laughs> I just won't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you get an S rank on it? Um, Stealth. Let me check. No, I got an A. <laughs> mm. Do we need an S? Uh, if you want to unlock something really good, you need to get an S rank in all the perfect stealth missions. All right. Also, this first mission does have something for S rank in it. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure they're good soldiers here, so I'm, yeah. Yeah, they're okay. I'm hosting. Captain. Your brain is the only weapon you have left. Do whatever it takes to keep going. Miller, don't be so dramatic. Your brain is the only weapon you have left! It'd take two people. We can sneak, but we don't even have to take them out, right? Right. Oh, okay. Yep, this is just perfect stealth, so you have to get just sneak the whole way through. You cannot get caught. If you do, it's game over. If you kill anybody, uh, it's game over. Yeah. Basically, a more basic big boss run, but 
but divided into five levels. It does go through every map in the game, though. Good job. Return to base. Yes. Nice. Chocolate chip camouflage. Sounds delicious. So my intel guys say there's 6A rank guys in here sometimes, but also 13 B and C as well. Ugh. So it's kind of luck of the draw here. Ooh, this guy's an S rank cook. Gimme. <laughs> he has, he had like three skills on him too, shit. Also design specs, where are these? M16A1 with stun grenade plus laser sight. Alright. We don't have to S-rank this one, do we? Yes. We do. There is there is an unlockable that is oh, tied right, right. to you all the that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about Xenoblade. Mm hmm It's a good game. Oh, A rank Intel man. Mm. Let me just get my Fulton mine. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just wanted to, to be like, I got this, and put down the anti-tank mine and see if you noticed. <laughs> and then shoot it and then kill the wonderful S-rank man? <laughs> Are you crazy? It would have been worth the comedy, alright? You would have no. appreciated the laugh more than uh, that fantastic man. I don't know. <laughs> Did you look at the letter of his fantasticness? <laughs> it was a whole S. <sighs> Okay, so we have to go f forward to proceed to the goal, but we can also go to the maps to the right. And I think good soldiers might be over there. Alrighty. So if we do a... Oh boy. Uh oh. The mission's a failure. Return to base. Fart. Whoops. Oops. You're getting too excited about good men. I know. <laughs> Yeah, so the thing with these perfect stealth missions is that it's actually... You can still S-rank them by yourself, but it's harder to do that. Um, because there's several shortcuts that are faster if you're doing co-op. Like, snake in with me right here. Snake in. Maybe just drop down. You can just... Oh, no, snake in again. Snake in. We just like each other up here. Uh -huh. Bypass a bunch of shit. Same thing with the next area. Nice. Well, you can still do that by yourself, but you need to use a cardboard box, which is one slower, and once you use up your cardboard box... Like, you can't use it for this part here either if you sneak in with me. Right. Oh. Sneak in. There we go. Yeah. You did it! Keep it up! It's probably an S5. It was a lot faster. Oh, much. Was it 11 minutes we just did it the first time? Yep, 11 minutes the first time. And that was a B rank. Yep. S rank, 3 minutes 48 seconds. It's not bad. Too bad those early levels don't have R&D dues, because that's what I want, real bad. Yeah, that'd be lovely. I'm still level 82. I need to be... I don't know, just level 99, fuck it. <laughs> I just want to be max level so I can make everything... ...right away. Yeah. I wonder what the idea was behind, like, saving all this stuff till... After the mission is, or, you know, the main mission is ended twice, kind of. Mm-hmm. I kind of, yeah, I do wish that more of it was spread out earlier. Because there's some really cool stuff you can unlock, but it's like, 
a little too late to have as much fun with them as you could. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I do wish there were more extra ops to unlock in between the normal story missions. Like, you probably you probably throw most of them there. Yeah. And just keep, like, perfect stealth stuff and, like, the harder boss fights and Monster Hunter until after you've gotten the first ending. Right. But before we've gotten the second one, I mean... Yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. Whatever. I probably would have seen most of it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Man, I just want to make the grenade pistol. Come on. <laughs> Fucking... Kojima? Come on. Come on. 